Hello and welcome to our tutorial on Nmap timing and performance. In this tutorial we will be covering the different timing options available in Nmap and how they can be used to optimize your scans and improve performance. Nmap provides several timing options that can be used to adjust the speed and aggressiveness of your scans. These options are controlled using the dash capital T switch followed by a number between 0 and 5. Here is an overview of each. Option dash T0 This option is the most paranoid and slowest speed option. It is designed to evade intrusion detection systems by slowing down the scan and avoiding detection. T1 This option is slightly faster than T0 and is also designed to evade intrusion detection systems. That is a good option for scans that need to be performed discreetly. T2 This option is the polite option and it's low close down the scan to use list bandwidth and use list target machine resources. It's a good option for scans that need to be performed on sensitive or shared networks. T3 This option is the default timing option and is suitable for most scans at balance is speed and reliability and is a good option for most situations. T4 This option speeds of the scan and is suitable for reasonably fast and reliable networks. It's a good option for scans that need to be completely quickly. T5 This option is the most aggressive and fastest timing option. It's suitable for scans that need to be completed quickly on extraordinarily fast. It works. It's important to note that the timing options affect the speed and aggressiveness of the scan, so choosing the right option is crucial. Using an aggressive option, a slow or unreliable network can lead to inaccurate results or even network disruption. In conclusion, Nmap timing option provide a way to optimize your scans and improve performance by choosing the right option for your scans or completely efficiently by choosing the right option for your situation. You can balance speed and accuracy and ensure that your scans are complete.